I mean, she's doing an okay job. Sure, he smells like fucking whiskey, but you know, he, he's he kind of looks like a baked potato that's been partially soaked in whiskey. Okay. Um, so you know, normal frat guy, I guess. But um, yeah, you're you're thinking that uh, if he's got any other tricks, then getting him to San Angeles will be very difficult on the road cross country thing. So we lost the helicopter, though, right? Amazingly, uh, it it seems to like when when the police took an interest in you, it seemed to fuck off a little bit, or maybe looking for you again. I'm a great driver. Yes, you did fabulously. <laughs> I want to get something to uh, sedate this guy and. Uh, Basically, when we get a chance, go to another hotel and then uh, look for. I wanted to like look for scarring that might uh, be like the tracker on him. Got it. Give me a pharmacy roll. This is you are unconscious and not dead. I have. Okay. Yeah. You you put some new shit into his IV bag and he goes RV. Uh, and yeah, he's out now. And. Uh, right, give me a medicine roll as you are searching around. Got looking it. For shit to... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's something else. You, you Now, he could have other shit, like, super deeply embedded. You really need to get him onto an x-ray table. Hmm. That, would, that would clarify shit real quick right there. Okay. But right. I did find, can I take it out of him? Found... You found a tracker and removed it. That's hence the medicine roll. But um, yeah, you're you're having found one. You are now because you're the kind of person you are. You are deeply suspicious. They could they could have grafted some shit onto a bone or something for all you know. Mm -hmm. Uh And what I'll do is uh, we'll go to. Um... We'll go to one of those uh, over the road or those off the highway rest stops. Right. And I'm going to uh, slip this onto a trucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's super easy. I mean, you can even do that in town and find an over the road trucker stop to stop like a stop. Give me a sleight of hand roll because that way, even if you crit. Pass, oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you're pretty much a stage magician at this point. No problem. Uh, yeah. They, they, they'll have something new to follow. But uh, there are hospitals and stuff in the city. Uh, you're in a, mm -hmm. a city that unfortunately is only famous for one thing. Um, uh, Cleveland is, can they, but, well, no, yeah, I can't. Never mind. Cleveland is famous for uh, somebody okay. called Howard the Duck. Oh. He makes fun of Cleveland. So, anyway, I'm not sure what else it's famous for. It's probably not important. But what are you guys going to do after slipping the first tracker? Well, will a handheld metal detector do it? Uh, it? Only if it's made out of metal. A significant amount of metal. At least a coin's worth. All right, hold on. I mean, people are always carrying around the metal detectors at the beach and digging up quarters and shit. <laughs> Look, I found 25 cents of my $500 metal detector. We have a winner. Woo. I'm gonna be rich. Yeah. I mean, sure, it, it's, it's a hobby that gets you out fucking walking, preferably on the beach. So that's something, I guess. Mm -hmm. Digging. Lots of little digging. But not too deep, because deep digging is just a pain in the ass. Meanwhile, Doc Fulton tries to dig deep into his personal bag of tricks. We could infiltrate a hospital. You know, 
there's something that you may not realize, and that's that the uh, woman with no name is actually an expert helicopter pilot. So. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be awesome that's what so i'm gonna go and uh I, I i gave you that link because you can find a portable uh dental x-ray thing mm -hmm. for under 600 bucks right so that's on ebay right so if i can if you can x-ray with that i can take pictures of his entire body looking for yeah I'll tell you what, uh, because you don't have time to get your eBay and give me a luck roll of mega 30 and just boom, find a place that sells one right now. No, for it doesn't exist ever. So that's yeah. okay. That was a really good try there, Chris. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of your effort. All right. Well, I'm going to go with the fact that he wouldn't have more than one on him then. And then we're going to continue on our journey. Okay. You guys continue on your journey. Um, Let's see, uh, Chris is driving. Give me a navigate roll because at one point you find that there's like a uh, oh, way, way up ahead is like a police uh, blockage thing. And so you're trying to go on half back road. And yeah, you know, you pretty much managed to elude uh, whatever that was all about. There was a helicopter. I try to park. take the Route 66 back home because uh, I want to like pay homage to uh, y Yanda. Or what, what is his name? I have it written down. That's a spirit. Yeah, I have no idea where the Route 66 is in relation to this, but no problem. Hopefully, well, Yanda goes through Chicago, oh, so yeah. we can go to Chicago from here. And sounds good. Unfortunately, the Route 66 in real life. Those are some really fucked up shit and everything. But on the other hand, the great Yandun yeah, and homage to him. I'll take 66, but the route 66 back. That's pretty impressive. Since you made your navigate at half, you just happen to know where it is. Plus you actually kind of studied it and stuff. I uh, do have a map of it too. And it's laminated. Yeah. 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 Freak. So uh, no problem. It takes you a lot longer, but it appears that you're right. He did only have one on him. It looks like the GM was just mercilessly trying to fuck with you once again. What they do that. Yeah. But uh, because you are a fine doctor and have made your pharmacy in half, you pretty much put him into a, like a, a light coma until you decide to wake him up. Uh, now, Yana, mm -hmm. there is a problem. Oh. Yeah. He's doing all the driving and shit, which means that uh, when the guy poops himself because, you know, uh, and pees himself because he doesn't have a catheter or a poop bag or anything like that, and it starts stinking and stuff, mm -hmm. then the doctor keeps giving you these significant looks like, and then, you know, there's like uh, these, these handy wipes and shit. I don't know what he needs, you know. It's just nice weather here. I like this trip. <laughs> Chris, she is the worst, worst ever driving a cop lesson. Oh my god. If you get pulled over, you know, instead of cops sniffing for dope, they'll be gagging and shit. It's like, no, oh, who pooped themselves in here? Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, eventually you guys managed to make the most disgusting, long, horrible road trip ever back. You guys arrive at San Angeles with your cargo. You are very proud. Yay. Where do you take Yay. him to? Well, let's take him to the mansion because no one goes there anymore. There is a lot of people around there. Oh, there uh -huh. is. You're right. I... Sorry, my fucks are all gone right now. Um, <laughs> we, can, we can go to the place we discovered. We can take him to where the sewers are, like the entrance to the sewers, because uh, Josh owns that building anyway. Yeah. So, oh, 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 oh. Over to where Brown is. I At hope. This point, Yana realizes that's the place she should have been staying, but doesn't. <laughs> you go there. There's all kinds of big freezers and shit set up to keep going. I hope. Yeah. The, the, is the wall repaired? So there is still the... 
Okay. You want to tell Doc Fulton what the wall looks like? That is a hole in the wall. Why, why is there a hole in the wall? I don't know. Somebody who is stupid enough to not know that this is a hiding place punched the wall. Oh. Okay. There's also uh, electric cords that go out of the basement and through one of the doors and such and on to who knows where. Actually, both of you guys know where. So you've got the guy in uh, what we call Yanaville. <laughs> um, and he's uh, pretty much in a coma. Uh, Chris, give me a first aid roll if you want to hook up the anti-gross stuff, catheter, yeah. stuff like that. Yep. Great. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know Yana's not going to clean up and she'll just live here with it. <laughs> like. If she ever comes here, which she doesn't, because they bought her a separate place to stay and she refuses to come here. Okay. Which is awesome. So, uh, he's all set up. He's ready to. Well, uh, he's not really ready to go, but he's secure. He's stable. He's uh, relatively clean. If you want to do your doctoring and just keep him clean, you don't even need to roll for it, just clean him up a bit. Because otherwise, if he woke up, he'd be covered. In, he'd look like a poop golem if Yana had her way about it. Right. Well, I'll clean him up so you know, it'll avoid infection as well. So. Right. 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 Uh, you're, you're looking around uh, Yana's place. It appears that no human has ever lived here. Uh, and that nobody has come here for several months. It's not true. We were here with the lockpick joker, with the with the shotgun joker. Mm -hmm. It's not that long. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, yeah. Somebody may have slept here a few months ago. Great. So what do you guys do? Um, other than the fact that I'll check in with Elliot. And uh, find out what's going on. Um, oh, it's basically happy with you. He's working on getting some new roles and shit like that for you. Okay. Better. Wait for him to get healthy. All right. Healthier, no so he can speak. And uh, can we get like um, some kind of like we can get a recording device so we can record what he's saying? Done. Okay. No problem. Uh, who do you want to leave the garden while you go off and do work stuff? Her. You know? Screening, private screenings, schmoozing, uh, those filthy fucking Mildred? cocktail dinners. Mm. Uh, I will guard him with my life. <laughs> she goes, with my life, and sets down the model. She shows her. And he's like, ah. <laughs> Are you sure you want to leave Mildred with here? Yeah. I know he's important. Uh -huh. No problem. Mildred. He leaves yeah. to go off, and that means he may get the drink. He shows him with one flute of champagne that over the course of several hours gets down to about half of its previous level. Therefore, you get a you get a reward as well. Ooh. Give me an alcohol tolerance roll, because I want to see if you get blackout drunk enough to do something crazy, like untie this guy and dance around with him while he's unconscious. <laughs> oh, no. That could yeah. happen. People do stupid shit while they're blacked out drunk. I didn't make it. That's super. No problem. Uh, right, Doc, you come back, and um, the guy is no longer in bed. He is instead tied into a chair, and he's been given an extreme makeover. He's got, like, the makeup and stuff on, and he's got, like, pigtails and stuff, and you're, like, <laughs> and Yana's, like, passed out. She's in a different chair. You know, and it looks like she was given an extreme makeover as well. Hey. I put him back in bed. <laughs> I tie him back. You know, I secure him again. Very secure. Great. I uh, make sure that he has nothing on him. Like maybe he was faking and he's not uh, actually he, awake he, a bit. He, anytime he wakes up, he gets like, you know, he ends up with knives, drugs, just various things on you, relate him of it, get some more, push some more side of Eventually, after about a week or so, he should be strong enough to, unless you beat on him or whatever, some more, he should be strong enough to bring her out for some light questioning. Okay. You know, uh, as long as Yana doesn't break off a bottle and bury it in his neck or something. 
Nope. She does that, but you know she's going there. You know what's going to happen. No, I want to find my girlfriend. Yes, but you know he's not going to tell you, and then you'll get frustrated, and then you'll break the bottle, and you'll stick it in his neck. Mm. Right, so he, he's okay. I mean, if you start slapping him around, he'll go down quick, but, you know, he's better. Normal people heal slow as fuck, you're thinking. So he, he actually healed up rather quickly. He's good. He, well, it's been like uh, over a week. Um, so he's better. I mean, you could wake him up and question him, but if you want to start like physical torture, then you know. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'll question him, though. Okay. No problem. You uh, wake him up. Uh, give me a simple pharmacy roll because, you know, anesthesiology, there's Got a it. reason why it's a whole profession. And you could be a, one of the top of the field. You wake him up. He looks at you. Far, big, far, far, he says. I have no idea what that means. Now let's do English, please. He glares at you. Do you have any interrogation skill? A little bit. Ooh. Not much, but I got something. You can roll it to know about stuff. Just missed it. You hate this guy so much. <laughs> kind of thinks about physical torture. Ooh. He looks weak and helpless and mm. tied up. And he's got a catheter in. And a poop bag. You you realize, Yana, you're mm -hmm. gonna squeeze his poop bag hard enough, they go back up into him, and then he'll inflate. It's fun. No. <laughs> Not touching the poop. Probably for the best. He glares at you guys. He seems angry and upset for some reason. Can you say anything else? Or is that it? Is it just going to be like name and serial number all the time? Far peak, far far. He grinds out. He, it's at this point he notices that you cut on his arm and shit when you took out the chip. This seems to upset him. Oops. He They're not coming for you anymore. He kind of goes... Give me empathy rolls as a complex uh, array of emotions goes through him. Got it. He resigns. Oh. Um, no. uh, yes. He resigns himself to torture followed by death. He accepts it with a grim resignation that only somebody who's been trained to resist torture can. Mm -hmm. And who has faced it multiple times. He says. He waits. He appears not at all interested in starting a dialogue with you. If only you knew some sort of actual interrogation skill or had foreign that would help. I can try it learn. Ooh, excellent. Yana goes up. I'll support with one hand. Okay. I almost supported. Shit. Damn. Yana, give me that roll. No. You want to break the bottle and bury it in this? <laughs> She's thinking about so it. So why do you work for White anyway? What's in it for you? He glares at you. Far peak. Far, far. I take off my glasses. Does this have any kind of reaction? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of like if you just pulled out your cock and slapped him across the face with it and said, who's your daddy now? Where's your God now? That kind of reaction. Mm -hmm. He looks alarmed. So why don't you tell me why do you work for White? He just stares at you like you are the Antichrist. Yato, Hinebo, Yato, Hinebo. Do you have questions that you want him to answer? Mm. Built it. Yeah. Um, what you want to ask him? 
Well, he's not going to answer. I was going to do it my special way. It worked once before. Maybe it'll work. Oh, later. right. Interesting. He waits for death. <laughs> yeah. He comes to Will. I would like to know more time. about him. All right. I make like I walk up to him with a with a scalpel. I make a small incision on the side of of his on his temples. I make two small incisions on my hands, and I grab him by the head. <laughs> wow! Give me that essence times one shit again. Ah, says Chris <laughs> as he attempts to skull fuck this guy into submission. What kind of cards you got? Yeah. This is, this is called using shit that is not meant to work. Yana. Oh, she dropped. She'll be back. Well, I'm going to play Dissemination because I have you nothing good at Yeah. That's a fucked up way to uh, rock somebody's world there, Chris. Okay. Why do you have 16 cards? Because I got the fucking draw 10 cards and play all the play immediately cards. <laughs> cool. Uh huh? Yeah, I'd better relink the Google Hangouts in case you haven't lost it. Nope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the one card. Okay. I play another dissemination. And I'm going to play this and this into her hand for when she gets back. Science! Well, they are trying to get more women into STEM roles. <laughs> Hooray! Yana, pick up, uh, I think uh, Chris gave you futuristic skills plus 20 and science plus 20. Yeah, do you see him on the board? Uh, yes, science. Grab both yes. of those. He disseminated them to you. Okay. He's just trying to get you into science. It's a filthy trick. Mm. So, do you, and uh, can you trade me a card and play the assistant? I have an assistant five. I'm going to trade it with you so you can play okay. it on me. He's gone straight to the fucking Hail Mary play. It is, it is super hard to get any useful information from just straight up torture. And it's super hard if the guy has like training to resist torture. So she played the assist fifth, five. I'm playing a skill 15. Ooh, that's 20 up. So, got it. God damn. Uh, no problem. Uh, Yana, give me a very small Sandy roll. It's one point if you miss, one point when you miss it. And it goes toward, you put it toward uh, Chris doing some weird, stupid shit that you don't approve of. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, it, it, it starts glowing, like, he starts glowing purple because he's not purple enough. And so, like, purple's coming out of his head and going into his hands and the air guy starts. And then, then it gets worse. More Sandy's lost because then the air guy begins to fucking turn purple. All of him starts turning purple and he's going, ah, and he's letting out the silent scream and stuff. So now you can do a bigger Sandy roll as you're going up against Chris's purple people eater thing. Nope. D6. Ah, you say. Come on, roll a five or six. Make Logan happy. Two. Damn it. She has another drink. This is why she drinks, because the RPC. Are yeah. you dead yet from lack of sanity, Diana? I have You're 20, go. but I'm completely okay. Wow. I, I'm still thinking that you'll be the first PC to ever lose their character due to complete bad shit insanity. Me too. Yeah. 
Joe, right, Chris, you eventually release your hand. The guy slumps forward and then he slowly lifts up his fucking glassy eyes. He goes, ah. I mean, it's almost like you can hear fucking static when he does that. Do you know where Tamara Goldman is? No, we are looking for her. He says, Why are you so afraid <laughs> of the the one that was born from Maddie? The abomination. It is not pure white. It comes from an abomination. Therefore, it cannot be pure. Yeah, Where is the, the white seat of power? He stops ranting. It is destroyed. He gives you the uh, address of the temple that you already have and says, it was destroyed during the rebellion led by Matty. Where is your current location? Boston. He gives you an address. Is that the same address of the brownstone? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Apparently the uh, what's good enough for the goose is not good enough for the gander there. In other words, they put the troops up in one location and have their secret knife sharpening hideout in a different location. He goes, ah. How can I get in? Hmm? What kind of security is there? He uh, goes through some pretty elaborate uh, Mission Impossible number three level security. Okay. Uh, apparently, these... Uh, uh, in going through security, also uh, lets you know that most of the people pulling security are uh, ex Mossad or current Mossad officers and shit like that, uh, because the, the Mossad actually works for white indirectly and unknown. But uh, yeah, he, he, I'd actually written that down a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. You forgot, didn't you? No. No? Okay. No, uh, it's in my notes. Confirmed. Um, yeah, you notice his feet are starting to literally fall apart. Who is the head of the white now? Ooh. Logan pauses time to get you a fucking name. Who does number two work for? Uh... I love how the doc always figures out ways to be fucking evil. <laughs> yeah, I would I would like a Sandy Roll versus cold blooded killing. Even though this guy did irritate you. Got it. One point. Yeah, fuck him. I'm gonna kill his dumb ass. Um where uh, Ah, Mary Schiller. Is she in Boston at that location? Oh, she was when I was there. She moves often. Where is she now? Where does she usually stay? Everywhere. She moves constantly since the rebellion. What is the white's motivation? Purity. Yes. No, this is uh, uh, the bottom parts of his legs seem to be missing and falling to kind of dust. What other colors does the white know about? I don't know what white knows. I am not a priestess. What other priestesses are suspected of working with the rebel, the rebels? 
Thank you, Card, for a good question. Yana, if you ask clever questions, I review cards too. I know. <laughs> uh, Tamara Goldman. And he names off two other of the lower ranking priestesses that love You know where they are. are. No, we search for them. His knees begin falling to dust. Do you have anything from Mildred? Mm. I like that you guys keep asking him questions that he also would like the answers to. <laughs> what's your what's your role in this? Head of security. What are what is the security code for your mainframe? It gives it to you. Fucking refill your goddamn hands. One, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a long and involved thing that you write down. He, his thighs are turning into dust as he fucking thrashes here, thinking. Why do we haul a stinky fucker all the way across the country to do this? Now yeah. he's turning into dust. What's the gold about? Purity! Yin-yang. Yeah. Turn, turns into dust. Oh, you got yin-yang? Yep. Cool! Discard all your shit, Yana. Draw new shit. Yay! But I had the D for sanity card. Nit in the me. Spark of Divinity. Is that on mag startup? Yeah. Nice. I now. Once again, because it's the doc's destiny, have the most essence of all party members. Oh, nice. 21. Well, oh. eventually, well, normally Max is 20, but hopefully, Yana, I will get to run you on the same adventure that uh, he went on. Unfortunately, I won't get to run Matt because he stayed at home and was not playing on the day I was running that, so he got to do too much of it. So, any play immediately? Nope. Any uh, limited retrieve? Because mm -mm. Yana crazy Yana could use some fucking stat points is what she could use. No, it can't be reclaimed from the discard oh, pile. Got it. I have, yeah. I have dissemination if he wants to do something with that. Now is a good time. I'm pausing the guy whose crotch is turning into dust. He's unhappy. So, I don't know. Okay. Hmm, Chris, bad news for Logan. Uh, let's see, I need you to name the thing that you do, like uh, uh, indigo interrogation or something. Okay. Yeah, does that sound good? Sure. Okay, you start with that at your essence skill, and now you get a check in it. And I'm going to give you the stats of it. Um, basically, uh, when you do it, um, you get about 10 questions out of somebody. They have to answer uh, to the best of their knowledge. OK. It, yeah, it doesn't have to be. The answer doesn't have to be complete. It's not like a book answer, brief answer. OK. And then they die. 
there you go. You got a new skill that is super fucked up. But you can now. How do the priest? Huh? Yeah. Go ahead. Since you've done it more than once, I just decided to make it into a skill because you can get better at it. How do the priestesses communicate with each other? Eyes on backs of hands. Ah, he says. You notice his stomach is beginning to slowly dissolve. Is the white allied with any other colors? Oh, and once once per week on it. One time per week. There you go. I don't know what white knows, he says. Where is your uh, main information bank or all of your information stored? Israel. Where in Israel? Uh, he groans as he's starting to have trouble communicating because his lungs are dissolving. Mm -hmm. Massad. He got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. I've always wanted to hack into a fucking international spy agency. You think? There's yeah, that's not gonna happen. Be shit. Just because they're renowned badasses all over the world doesn't mean they won't have shitty encryption security. Right? I'm sure they won't. It'll be crap. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have anything? I can't think of anything else right now. He pretty much turns into dust and disappears. Can't boy you shit. Okay. Oh, and I'll make that note sanity. Us. I scatter the ashes about a kicking and such. Uh, you're not in a great fucking hotel room, so they may just think I'm fucking uh, someone. Or bag exploded on the vacuum or some shit. You're thinking it would be probably good to get a different room rather than stay in this room breathing in this bastard. Yeah. It's, well, it's time to go. We're, oh, we're in the... oh, that's easier. You take all of your ties and stuff like that. And, yeah. We clean the room. We go. Okay. Yeah, well, by we, you mean you and she drinks and watches you. I help a little, okay? <laughs> Children, like, move something from one thing to another, and they go, something. <laughs> cool. Uh, right, you guys uh, leave. You I can't actually... squeeze on myself. I stopped doing that for the rest of the day. What the fuck? You, uh... I can't squeeze on you. I tried again. I'm done for the day. You uh, uh, managed to return this rental vehicle without uh, destroying it. The rental company is delighted. Uh, however, the fact that you had like a vehicle stolen in a different state does make the news and shit. Okay. Uh, also, you guys, uh, as a bit of wrap up, discover that the studio now has people who are claiming to be entourage, but they look like kind of. Uh, Rent a cop level of security that we're not talking. If if the fucking hard boys and stuff that were were you guys were dealing with come back, these guys' job is to die messy. Mm -hmm. Maybe make a little noise first. So I have people to skin them. Apparently, yes. They, I, they, yeah. I'm grateful for for the for the like new. Wow. Right. Um, we're going to go ahead and end it here because I can tell you guys are, are running on empty, but you did get some more information. Uh, you did a, you got a lot further than I thought you would due to some really clever ideas in there. <laughs>